What is up everyone? I am Phoenix. how are you getting on? Welcome back to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Now, we're gonna go and find some more endings today. I mean, I hope so, at the very least. Because this game never ends, according to the loading screen. This is the story of a man named Stan. Okay, I can skip this, because we've seen this. I don't need to see it again. Welcome back! Yeah, thank you for welcoming me back. That was a weird start to begin with. The whole clock part. Hmm. Anyway. All of his co-workers were gone. Yes. What could it mean? They were gone. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, let's see. We'll go. New content. Uh... Excuse me? Oh, new content? What does that yes. mean? New content? I don't know. What is new content? This door wasn't here before. I swear. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Yes. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 yes. with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Huh. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable. Uh, this isn't the real door. Deluxe. What? Oh, well, this sounds delightful. Sure. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Don't disappoint me, game. Well, to be fair, I think we've already seen plenty of new content. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. I'm sure it is. Or it doesn't um, go anywhere. <laughs> is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, here oh. we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Yeah, you're hyping it up a little too much. I feel like this mm. isn't going to be what we're looking mm. for. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if them... Um, you could oh, say that. Okay, let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Yes. Everything for the content. All right. The jump circle. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. But we cannot jump. We can jump. We can jump. Finally. But only in the circle. Oh, I'm going to run out of jumps soon, though. I don't want to run out of jumps. But it's so fun to jump. Alright, what are you gonna give this game? Give me more. Oh. Well, that was my last jump ever. You cannot jump. Let me jump, damn it. Is, right. is that it? Yeah, we Surely can jump. that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Mm, maybe that is all. Maybe that's all. Another elevator. Maybe Stanley, that is everything. I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. No. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? Well, if this I mean, is this new content, day and I could age. just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see. It's it. there. I'm ready for whatever it is. Is this really new? The time is never right, by the way. Even though I fill it in at the beginning. Thank you for enjoying the new call. That's it? 
Really? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley, this, this is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get Ouch. me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says... Test achievement, please ignore. I what did see quality that one. assurance department signed off on this? <laughs> I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. Yes. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could yeah, never have lived have. up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about? No frills. No gimmicks. Uh huh. Just you and me having a great time together, like always. A great time. What well, I say, seem to friend? annoy you more than anything, but I don't even have a choice. I hate Monday. That's just a picture of the original room. The whole game changed again. St Stanley. What? Come over here. Why? In the vent. I want to show you something. I don't know if I want to see it. it does seem to lead back to normality, maybe. All right, what do you want to let, show me? What? Coffee mug. Nuts, coffee nuts. Oh. Okay, what's this? Minecraft? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it sort got of. me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Uh -huh. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Oh. Just our little secret. Well, aren't you one Take of them? Take a look. Technically? Wow, this... Whoa. I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences oh. like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Cool, I'll go back. I won't go back. Because I have no choice. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Huh. Back then, video games had integrity. Is that so? Back then, it all meant something. Independent Games oh, Festival please. Audience Award. Huh. Yeah, well, <laughs> he's sort of right. I mean, games back then were... I would say better overall, you know? There wasn't the whole loot box and, as he said, cheap DLC type of thing. Games overall felt better. I mean, there are definitely more games out here now, and it's definitely easier to release games, which is partially a good thing. Some cool experiences do come from that, but maybe not always as good as you would like, Elaine. Smile because it happened. Dollar bill. Huh, demonstration. So it was a demo. Go outside, don't play for five years. Yeah, a, a rare achievement for sure. Unachievable, it is impossible to get this achievement. Great. I'm sure it wasn't, or maybe it was. New video game releasing today. That's not a real article, is it? Los Angeles Times, what? Is that even the thing? Ah, nice little bench. To look out onto the world. You know, this does feel nice. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Huh. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James <laughs> Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. 
Did you I hear guess that, Danny? They do. Every in a way. game ever created. It's That's how unique. grand and all encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. <laughs> it was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them. And okay, now okay. it's nothing. Hmm. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. No, it's just it, it a does husk, feel a little weird. Ma, a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Yes. An hour, huh? <laughs> Original. Wait, why is there... It's... God, I cannot even open the door. I wonder why it sounds like typing whenever I press E. That is a little strange. Person of the Year. Oh, is that Stanley? For Scott K. See, this is where my knowledge of the original game isn't as extensive as I passage, would like. This time from GameSpot.com. Huh. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices okay, I get it. I've ever been you confronted got good with reviews. in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. Okay, it didn't okay. need anything else. It I'm didn't sure. need new content. It just needed to be left alone. <laughs> to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Carpet textures, huh? I mean, you might be right, in a way. Can I actually get... the serious room? And how do I get in there? I can't jump. Smiley face up there. Well... <sighs> what? These were simpler times, Stanley. I know. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Uh-huh. Okay, that door's open. Is there a way to get in the serious room? I'm sure there is. I would need jumping abilities, though. Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. It's the maintenance. What's this? What's down here? Oh. What? Oh no! Oh god no! Reviews. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. Oh, I that can't be so bad. Years. <laughs> I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely oh, these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Sure. Oh god. <laughs> they actually collect the reviews, huh? Honestly, that... I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. <laughs> hmm. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, Ooh, with ouch. his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. Oh, I'm trying to make a serious work of art. Uh -huh. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert one. into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. That's quite funny. Hey, I don't care what they say, narrator. I think it's a funny game, and you're all right, so wouldn't worry too much. The majority is positive anyway, right? <laughs> okay, let's see what this hmm. one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, <laughs> I'm not preachy, am I? Uh, you can tell me if I'm mm, preachy. Honestly, you can. Maybe a little this, bit. This is actually quite shocking for me. <laughs> I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did. Aww. But maybe it wasn't. But I feel dear, it's pretty light. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like oh. I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Yeah, I mean, I understand how that feels as a YouTuber. What's this you deal with this say? stuff. In a way. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. Wow. <laughs> a skip button? <laughs> well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then 
Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Right. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only oh God. positive reviews oh of the God. Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, yeah, I don't a think skip that's how it works. we shall have. I don't think that's how it works, dude. What if I don't want to press it, huh? I don't need to skip. I'm fine. I'm okay without skipping. Why is there a clock here? And here it is. Go ahead and it's give it a shot. Clock. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, okay. we just... <laughs> oh. oh, you're back, you see? You yeah. were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but ah. it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full Good. of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations again, on the though. nature of choice. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But yes. that's the power of the button. The Is minute it? I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right... Shut up. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That oh. last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. Oh, God. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But yeah. at any rate, I not do that I suggest do that we not press the button again. Okay. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just, wait... How do we get out of here? That's a good question. Where did the door go? Mm -hmm. Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I think there I was. I don't feel quite certain that there was one here before. How I mean, we got in here somewhere. How gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window Maybe. or something like that. Yeah. Do you a see hatch? a window anywhere? A, a porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? Mm. I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button to go anywhere other than no. the skip button. I guess we don't Stanley, have a choice. Stanley, <laughs> Stanley, please don't push the button oh again. It's been 12 hours. I'm sorry. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand mm. times. And there's well, no Well, good luck door, again. Stanley. <laughs> oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, oh I'm goodness. so sorry. I have someone to talk to again. Oh, and I feel Stanley, bad. I, I think it's been a week. Well, two weeks. Oh, my God. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me oh, talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't no. even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. You're That's right. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. Hmm. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. Good. It was the vessel I Good needed, that you Stanley. Realized. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every brunching path. I'll burn wow. my story to the ground. No, One do single that. thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because oh, maybe, Stanley, maybe, if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Hmm. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Perhaps, yes. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time that if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't well, be I taken by it, Stanley. I can't way. lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and me. When that you press that truth. button, you're still right there, but I know you're so tremendously far away. And in mm. those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us, and I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. Well, what I do you want me to do? Edges of my reality. Okay, you're rambling again. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, hello. It's you. You're yeah. here again. Welcome. 
I yeah. have had time to think about you and about okay. us and about everything we've been through. I've had Good. so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you oh. ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? No. Let me describe it no. for you. No. To begin with, there is only regret. Mm. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days. Months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. Wow, but you all still didn't learn your lesson down because you're still talking. <laughs> have you learned your lesson? There's silence. Well, I don't want to skip again. He, I mean, he's quiet. I can press the button again, though. What's that? Oh, that's a smoke alarm. What? Why? What's happening? Why is that going off? The clock fell off the wall. But they didn't understand. Oh. The game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant oh. to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain us! It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make I'm all. I'm sorry. Okay. The end is never the end, 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 is never the end. You're right. Man, this is so weird. But also so cool. Oh! Oh god. Well, the leaking got worse. In fact, it broke everything. But I guess the only way out was to just wait until time had passed so much that the whole place just, well, literally fell apart. Luckily not on me, but hey. Oh. Life. It's coming back. How beautiful. And it's gone again. And we must be skipping through like centuries at this point. How far could we go? Wait, is it even... Sound good? Oh, the button fell over. Oh my god, the whole world! What the... Can I even... I cannot press it again, but there's... Outside. There's nothing left. But a desert. How does he even stay here? How did this survive, but nothing else? Well... I guess we found our new contents. It's an endless desert. Nothing to see for miles. I'm kinda scared to walk too far away. Never mind. We're back. All of his co workers oh. are gone. And the what narrator's back mean? too. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mm hmm. New content, new, new content. Hmm. Okay. Oh, good. You notice my sign. Yes, yes, I have something very exciting to show you. You do? What is it? Gonna be worth my time. Time is of the essence here. Okay, you use the same elevator. Did you fix it? You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The right. original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So oh. forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it 
one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable 2. Two? No way. Yes, you the see, isn't this far again. superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think oh. of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience about built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities, it could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. I mean, I'm sure that's true. Doesn't mean a sequel is always... Calling it Living the Stanley up to the Parable hype. 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra <laughs> Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. Oh, it's yeah. nine years for it anyway. It so. screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Mm hmm. They're back. The two doors. Don't tell me there's like an actual sequel like buried into the game. Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. Okay. But let's take Number a look at some of the seven. features I've been developing for it. I two, figure two. that if I can loosely organize legs, a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development took the is marker, much more me. of a fuzzy yeah, magic than anything scientific or logical, really. This way to the show floor. New content bus. It's the content bus. <laughs> Whatever that is. Wow. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. What, like jumping? <laughs> no. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. That's new. Your name in the game. Whoa. This is something. For the oh. Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? Was that a choice? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Mm -hmm. So well, with that in work. mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Go ahead. Isn't that one Sorry, I should have what? clarified. Right now, the button oh. only says the name Jim. Great. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply okay. become a person named Jim. Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, mm -hmm. sleeping and waking as Jim, mm -hmm. falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing mm -hmm. all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Oh. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If I guess. so, then please step forward and press the button. I guess I do. But, I don't want to press that button. Because I'm actually going to leave this episode here. I hope it saves. I don't... Begin the game again. I don't really know how this works with saves and the linear way that it plays. I I might miss out on stuff by stopping here, but... I don't know. I gotta end it here. I gotta end it somewhere. And This is so interesting, and I feel like this is a whole new chapter in the game. Or a whole new game. I don't even know at this point how this works. Um... But yeah, I will be coming back to it, of course. I want to see what else it has to offer. So far, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm surprised. And I can't wait to see what else they have in store for us. But anyway, this was you, Phoenix. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe now for more to come. Until then, be brave, be kind, and stay awesome.